Hi, my name is Lacey. I live in Japan with my wife Rachel and our son Emmett. He's 18 months and I'm a stay-at-home mom. My wife's in the Air Force, so we live at Masawa Air Base. And usually the thing I'm most curious about when I hear that people live on base is what does military housing look like? So today I'm gonna give you a tour of our three bedroom, two bath apartment. And let's get to it. Okay, so these are the buildings we live in. The ones you see here are two bed, one bath apartments, but the building I'm in is full of three bed, two bath apartments. In our entryway, we have this plant stand to hold Emmett's shoes and our hats and gloves. On the other side of this wall, there's a little shelf that holds Emmett's coat and his snow pants, and underneath are our winter boots. Over here, we have our shoes, some coats and hats. And then through this first door, you get the laundry room. We have Emmett's sled just hanging out here. Easy to grab before we go. A couple shelves, I painted these white, which was a huge mistake because now, before we leave here, we have to sand them down and restain them. So that's our cute little laundry room. All right, through this little hallway from the laundry room, you come straight into the kitchen. In the kitchen, you have a fridge, your stove, and a dishwasher, and that's all the appliances that come with this apartment. And around on the other side, you get the pantry. There's a bigger one over here, and then this one is what we put all of our food storage in, which I'll show you when it's clean. <laughs> And then from here, you have a good view of the living room and the dining room. Okay, over here we have a couple bar stools. You can see out onto the... Okay, through the patio doors, you can come out onto this small patio. You can see directly into your neighbor's house. And there's room for a small grill, a patio chair. I'm sure there's room for a bigger grill and an actual patio set or a bistro set, but we didn't opt to get one here since we were only here for a few years. In the dining room, there is room for a six person table and a console table, so it is a fairly good size for military housing. And here's the living room. It's nothing too big because this is a very small Ashley furniture set, but it gets the job done. down this hallway is the bedrooms and bathrooms and there is a closet at the end there and on our first left is this bedroom which doubles as our storage room and our playroom on this wall we just have a few of Emmett's favorite books and his little zany zoo over here we've just got his play kitchen and I have a couple backwards shelves that hold all of my books on them so Emmett can't rip them down. And then we have Emmett's swing because it's his favorite thing to do. Okay, when you walk into Emmett's room, you can see a view of his crib and his mountains. I freehand drew these and painted them, so I'm very sad that we'll have to paint this room white before we go. I also painted the trees behind his door. So this is Emmett's room. He's just got a few open shelves with a few toys on them. His stuffed animals by the door. And we have his sleep sacks on a coat rack so he can just pick them out. And we don't have to worry about folding them. So this is Emmett's room. Just across the hall we have Emmett's bathroom. It just has a little tub his toilet, and it's all very tiny, so you really don't have to look for much. <laughs> On this wall is a couple of Emmett's towels, and over here you have the medicine cabinet and the vanity. And in the master 
It fits our queen size Ashley furniture bed set very nicely. There's not much room for anything else. Through the door by the dresser is our master bathroom. This is it. There's room for our robes on the back of the door. Well, thank you for joining me on my house tour. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!